So what's up guys? Welcome to Rafa's Garage. Today I'm putting a new battery on my car. Um, my old one got messed up, so I had to go to AutoZone and recharge it. Figured out it was bad and they gave me a new one it was under warranty so i'm gonna do that today um i also got some new equipment gopro fusion 360 um mainly my girl is gonna use it but once in a while i'm also gonna use it to edit so it's pretty cool um it has its own little stand it's its own little stand i already extended it so it's pretty cool i'm able to record it um we're also gonna do a wire harness for the leveler switch one of the socal guys asked me if i could do it for him so i'm gonna do it for him and hook it up to my car hopefully everything works just make sure everything works um that's what i'm gonna do today um so you ever need me to do a wire harness for you let me know. I will gladly do it for you. So if you guys want more Celica content, uh, go check out uh, and subscribe to The Most Aerial. Uh, his Instagram is almost the same thing. It's it's The Most Aerial. The Most underscore Aerial. I'll put his link in the description and I should put it down below right here. So you can go check him out. He also has a 7 gen Celica. He does pretty good videos. He also has an Evo, but he has an Evo 10. So if you guys want some more Celica content or Evo content, go check them out. Hook up the battery first. Uh, sorry for the mess. Um, I have basically no room in my garage now to keep these parts. So I end up putting them in inside my car sometimes. But so what I'm going to do, put the battery right now and then start working on the harness over there. in so i'm gonna test fit it or actually try it right now i'm gonna start it the way you make sure if it's working um turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off do it three times uh but while i'm at it i'm gonna give you guys a cold start Battery's good, uh, just need to strap it down right now and start working on the wire harness. So to hook up these uh, levelers, they're pretty easy. Um, these are different colors, but they're the same. Um, if you put them together, they're the same plug, just different wire color. Um, but they're fairly easy the one right here which is the both white ones right here those are your ground um this red one and this light green one with silver dots um that one's your power so that one needs 12 voltage um and then the one on the right um is your signal so these two are your signals so basically all you gotta do is just run wire from here all the way to this one and connect the right ones these i ended up grounding them to here don't matter just ground it somewhere nice um and this just got connected to this one and then the power got connected to the power right there um and same thing goes to this one uh, this is your switch, your leveler switch. Um, this two are your signals. 
which if you connect these two together just connect these two um, and if you notice they're the same um, color this one's green and and yellow and that one's green and red so these two go together um, and then let me see so if you look at it and then after that the bottom right here these two are your ground and the top two is your power so same thing you could ground it anywhere and get power from anywhere i grab power from the fuse box um and i bought these from autozone which you're able to run a double fuse on it so it's always safe to run a fuse so these were like six or seven bucks at autozone um i bought two because you're gonna need two you're gonna need one from power from this from over here from the and then you're gonna need one which i usually tap it from the other fuse box in there um that way i don't have a lot of wires running through everywhere but that's it i'm gonna wire this up and then once i'm done um i'll show you guys the results <laughs> measured all the wires that I needed uh, and now I just need to connect it solder it uh, the only one I'm not gonna do reason being is because the one that goes from here inside the engine bay or through the firewall inside the car reason being is because it's easier uh, running a wire than running a clip through the firewall so I'll have him connect that wire and that's it. Everything's going to be color coordinated. That way it's plug and play. Um, if you don't have these pigtails. If you don't have these pigtails. You could tap into them. Um, just go on eBay or Amazon. And they was, uh, there's a way to tap into them. Um, and it's the same process. You just tap into them and then do the wire same thing to here where's the switch the switch is over here so let me unplug it so there's connectors so you could tap into it it's kind of hard to see but you could tap into these you don't need the pigtail sometimes it's better if you have the pigtail but if you don't have it at least you could know how to do it so the, this is one of the wire harness this is one of them this is the other one um, I just gotta solder this and fix it up but this is how it's gonna be all he has to do is connect this blue oh, actually that's the ground <clears throat> this blue one with that blue one once he gets it through the firewall um, it's up to him how he wants to connect it but that's the only thing that's not going to be connected everything else is going to be plug and play and as you can see he's going to steal the battery from one of the fuse and he's able to put two fuses in there so that's pretty pretty cool so that's it um, I'm gonna solder this install it tomorrow make sure it works and hope for the best well, I'm getting ready to solder this um, make sure you put your heat wrap use some flux some solder and of course the soldering so there it is, both wire harnesses are already done. Tomorrow we'll test fit it on my car, see if they work. Hopefully they do.
install this on the car and make sure everything works that way I could give it to him making sure everything's working fine uh, it's plug and play uh, like I said the only thing I have to connect would be this one that's not connected uh, reason being is because that one's gonna go through the firewall and if I connect it then it's harder to get this plug in there or these plugs through the firewall so I'm not gonna do that The outside's already connected. There's two wires right there. This one was a pain of butt to take off. Because if you see the plug is like right here. So it's kind of hard to get to it. But with the right tools, you're able to get anything. Um, so I know it looks like a mess. It's because I have my wires, this wires, and I'm not hit, hiding them. This is the, gonna be the signal wire that's gonna go through the firewall, but since it's not getting installed in my car, I'm um, not really connecting it. Um, and this one is fairly easy. This is your signal wire, color coordinated. So that one's gonna connect to that. This right here is your power, which is green for me. And my black wire, which is my ground. Gonna connect it right now and hopefully it works and it turns on. Now I can give it to this guy. So there it is, it's working, it turns on as you can see. The light was turned on, uh, it is connected. Watch, I'm gonna pop the switch. And you can see them go and get it still. Going up. Going down. So they work. Gotta put everything back together. And get rid of all these wires. Kami's being a pain in the butt to me right now. <laughs> Go with mommy. Go with mommy. Come here. Everything's back to normal. All wires are tucked in. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'm out. Say bye, Okami. Bye.